okay first of all let us set our camera so set the tripod 30 this is a beautiful location uh, some people doing some wedding photography here or pre-wedding as you can see it's quiet and now I am balancing my camera I want to get a right horizon not bending <laughs> and as usual I'm on manual setting aperture f14 and ISO 100 for my seascapes can always go up when I do more long exposure so now we just wait for the light it's still a bit bright I also put my ND filter I usually use um, Singray ND filter So yeah, it's going to be good. I can tell from the sky, look at the sky, it's amazing. And the light, a little bit raised. On foreground, you can see pebbles. Yeah, today we are taking a picture with more foreground than the background like I used to say in composition you can choose you want to get more on foreground or you want to get more on background it's all depend on you and because today not much on um, you know the foreground I didn't see a lot of you know big rock or something just you know pebbles so it's kind of interesting so we're going to use the pebbles uh, what do you call it pebbles yeah pebbles for this um, photo shooting today so you see the example I put the tripod really low because I want to get an angle from the foreground with all these pebbles take a sample of picture of it oh I got a model in front of my camera a cute dog Anyway, my camera is balanced now and the light is really getting good and I have a foreground much more than the background. So let's shoot. Whenever you're shooting seascape, that means you are ready to get wet. So you always have to watch around you because the wave can always come and the other thing is try to be more creative play with the waves play with the you know rocks around it make a better composition try different different angle so I think you will get nice photos after all So here is the picture. I hope you uh, enjoy it and you want to try it at home. <laughs> 